Hello everyone. I wanted to work on my A to Z collage challenge today. I, um, I have a bunch of pages prepped but I still have a few to prep so I am going to show you how I do that and um, just, just because I might as well show you and um, just I don't know why. <laughs> All right. Well, that's that's that was really cohesive and coherent, wasn't it? Um, it takes a little bit for me to prep these pages. Remember, you do not have to have you do not have to use dictionary paper. You do not have to make this book specific. You could use a comp book and um, have fun with it that way. It could all be glued in. Remember, though, if you're going to post pictures, I would love to be able to find them. So use the A to Z collage challenge, and that will be in the title. It'll probably be in the description. And I will post a video link um, to the very first video, the introduction to this. Um, if you're interested, you can check that out. Um, I'm just using matte medium. I'm trying to learn to like matte medium. I do like it for some reason for some specific things better than others. I will tell you I can hardly stand to have it on my fingers though. It is it's kind of a an odd feel to it on your fingers. Anyways, I'm going to get quiet here, um, work. One of the reasons I do that, guys, just so you know, so I can speed the video up a little bit, um, not bore you to tears.
Okay, everyone. Um, I think this video is getting pretty long, so um, I'm going to stop for today and do this some more another day. Um, I do have other things I have to get to. As it is, it's going to take quite a while to accomplish this little challenge. Um, I don't see it getting done into in. Um, oh goodness, that's just not stuck down there. I don't see it getting accomplished in two months even. So um, this may take longer than I expected, but that's okay. I'm all right with that. Um, it's what I want to do. So. I hope you're enjoying it. Uh, I'm going to read you a quote from our 1001 Ways to Creativity. I do want to talk to you about... Um, I have sorted images. And I will tell you that the end of the alphabet, the U, V, W, X, Y, Z, W wasn't too hard. But I'm not coming up with many images. I don't have anything in my X envelope, nothing in my Z envelope. I think I have maybe one or two images in the U. So I'm going to have trouble finding the end of the alphabet. So I'm glad this project has not, you know, got a due date because I'm, I'm going to have to really look to find images. And I'm using um, five or so images on four or five images on each page. So that means that I have to have like 10 different things for X and Y and Z. So um, I may have to think about that and figure out what I'm going to do for those. Um, I'm going to read you a quote. Uh, this is from 1001 Ways to Creativity. Nothing in science explains why we are so moved by the sight of a beautiful sunset. Oh, that's a really good one. I love that we are we are all truly. I don't believe anybody is not moved by a gorgeous sunset. Anyways, guys, go have fun. Make some art. Bye-bye.